What's up, Butterfly Gang? Welcome to another Butterfly Message. I'm Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. I just want to say my name is Aji, A U J I, not Audrey, not Augie. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate the support though, but come on, y'all. Anyways, today's um butterfly message is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be getting doing the same messages, but today we're going to be seeing um what the other person feels towards you and then what's coming towards you. It's all about you, it's all about what's coming towards you. I think today I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this one with, yeah, I think I'm feeling these two, these two, okay? All right, let's get right into this message. If you're interested in the personal reading, I do offer those. The information is down in the description bar below. And I also offer um, phone call readings, but you'll have to message me on Instagram. That information is down in the description bar. Okay. What are they feeling towards Libra? What are they feeling towards Libra? This could be intimate, okay? Casual, family. You only take what resonates, leave what does not. What are they feeling towards Libra? What are they feeling towards Libra? Let's see what the first card is. Ah, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, somebody is looking at you like, you know what? Before I even start recording, I was thinking about something. And somebody was saying like, you know, you are the person of my dreams. Like, you are... The woman of my dreams. Somebody or the man of my dreams. Like somebody's looking at you like that. What else? What, are, what else are they feeling towards Libra? The trumpet sound. Okay. Somebody's feeling like it's time for them to. Or I feel like somebody is feeling like they've seen the real you. Whatever that means. We're going to clarify with the um, tarot. Oh, somebody's feeling like popping up. Hey, stranger. <laughs> that keeps on coming out. Like somebody feels like popping up. Somebody feels like you've been a stranger towards them. Like you haven't really talked to them. You haven't really been around them. Um, or if you are, it's been real, real short. If you've been talking to them or hanging with them, it's been real, real short. Somebody haven't really gotten to spend a certain amount of time that they would like to. Okay, somebody's happy with you. All good energy. All good vibes. What do they feel towards Libra? All good vibes. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. They feel like I'm scared. They feel like you're scared of commitment. I've been saying that a lot for us. What's going on? Somebody feels like you can't think straight. Somebody could feel like that you're so heated or that something's going on or you're going through something that you can't quite make the right decision or um, something's off. Somebody feels like something is off with you, like you're not thinking right. Somebody feels like that you're not in your right mind or something. Okay, somebody feels like that you're watching and you're stalking and you're lurking. Is that why that energy keep coming out? That energy been coming out for months for us. And this person also feels like that you are missing a lover from your past. Okay. Um, somebody also feels like that you like having your cake and eating it too. And somebody could also feel like that you're all in your feelings. Like that you're still upset about something. I'm getting that energy. Okay, let's see what's coming towards you. I'm going into my black cards for this. Spring of 
grace and protection on the black cards, okay? All right, what is coming towards Libra? What is coming towards Libra? What is coming towards Libra? Mm. Not your peeps. It's some people who you don't even really mess with. What's coming towards Libra? You're going to see what they want in a minute. What's coming towards Libra? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Okay. Realizing that you have everything that you need. Realizing that you are blessed beyond measure. Nice freedom, divine timing, and they're getting close to you because of what you've got. Hmm. Somebody's getting close to you because of what you have, a type of opportunity that you can present to them, or something like that. It's getting real use, like userish. Let me get one more. Alarm clock. Okay, something's going to sound an alarm. We got two alarms going off. Okay, so what's coming towards you? Sound the alarms. Um, we got the trumpet sound, and then we got the alarm sounding off. I feel like something's going to be presented to you in front of your face, the true colors of something. Also, sound the alarm. You also got somebody, you got somebody's attention. And there is crystal clear clarity in love. So I feel like you're going to really know how you feel about somebody and you're going to really know how a person feels about you. It's going to be no confusion. No, but I think, I think, no, you're going to know because this person is going to say it. They're going to act that way. They're not going to be doing all this crazy stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let's clarify. All right. Remember the white cards is how they feel towards you. The black cards is what's coming towards you, okay? Um, all right. Clarify, this is exactly what I wanted for Libra, please. Thank you. I need to shuffle these a couple more times. Feeling like somebody had to go around to realize what they wanted. Okay. Clarify this is exactly what I wanted. Oh, these are much better. Yeah. <laughs> somebody had to go around and figure out what it is that they wanted in healing. Okay. Somebody had to also go through a major transition to see that this is exactly what it is that they wanted. So you could be around a person who didn't necessarily appreciate you at first. And then now they're realizing like, after you've been around and you realize that you don't really get people like Libra, you don't really get a person like that. Like that's not the norm. Like this is a unicorn. Okay. <laughs> you don't really get people like this. You don't really get people who love you like this or who um, support you like this or who is in your corner like this or who is loyal like this. You don't really get people like this. And now a person is realizing that everything they wanted is you. Okay. They, re they realize that you are everything that they wanted. I'm feeling like somebody could have downplayed it or maybe they didn't really know the capacity. They didn't really know what was right in front of them. And they had to go through a series of, you know, you never really appreciate something until it's gone. So, and also with the Six of Swords here, there's um, 
transition there's also movement it's also almost like someone's coming back it's like you get your mind back you get your your peace of mind is back you're back home you know you're back stable you're back on solid grounds the waters are calmer you're back in calm waters it's like coming back and realizing so i guess i'm i'm feeling that but i do feel like somebody had to realize i had to go through some type of healing to realize that you are exactly what they wanted or what they want okay look at this someone was confused at first you got the seven of cups confused at first they was living an illusion they thought that you know like i said somebody could have tried to downplay you or maybe they wasn't giving you everything that you deserve they wasn't treating you um like the queen or the king that you are and now they're realizing like let me hurry up and get this get my shit together before i i, I lose this thing i lose what's important to me um what's in the middle of that yeah something comes out of the blue with the person like i feel like if you are not in contact with the person you are going to infest somebody's mind space somebody's mental space it's going to be infested, okay, <laughs> with you, with thoughts of you. This comes out of the blue. Like, I feel like a person could have also been pushing this idea off because they probably didn't want to seem wrong. They probably didn't want to seem like they made the wrong choice. Or maybe this is a person who's hell bit on not doubling back. Like, I don't, you know, people say that all day. I don't double back. I don't something, something. I don't, if you're gone, you're gone. I don't, da 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 da, da. And maybe a person didn't want to, didn't want to realize that or didn't want to accept that you were the one who got away and this is what it looks like it looks like a person is coming back around coming back full circle they always gonna spin the block okay um let's clarify the trumpet sound for libra okay somebody feels like you're upset with them because of some type of truth. We got the alarm clock coming out. Okay, somebody feels like you're upset with them, that you're sad, okay? Um, this could have something to do with somebody at work. Why am I getting like telling? Like somebody told on somebody. Somebody snitched. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting... I just, I just got tattletale energy for some reason like somebody's snitching like somebody is just or even if they're not snitching they just run in their mouth and they feel like that you're, you don't know this but then their energy towards you is like i don't know if they mess with you know how when a person goes around somebody's back doing all of this 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 craziness and the other the person that they're doing it to they don't necessarily know but now the energy has changed that's how i'm feeling like somebody feels like the energy has changed i don't know if you're the one telling on them or they're telling on you, but they feel like the energy has changed. Somebody feels like that you can see them, their true colors, like you see what they're what they're really doing behind their back and that you're upset. Also, this comes out of the blue. A person does something out of the blue. Like, why? Why did you do all of that? Um, somebody could be talking about you. Yeah, look at this. With the seven of swords right here somebody can somebody does something behind your back out of the blue it was totally unnecessary and now they're paranoid because they feel like that you can see them they feel like you see the truth they feel like you can see their true colors what they've been up to and they feel like you're upset but all but some reason you're not saying anything yeah look at this justice card like somebody feels like that they've been caught red-handed and they, you haven't even seen, you haven't seen what they did or you haven't heard what they said yet, but they have been around. So be, be mindful of guilty energy around you, okay? Clarify, hey stranger, for me, please. Hey stranger, are you gonna pop into somebody? This could possibly be at work, okay? Hey, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a long time. All right. Um, somebody feels like, somebody could also feel like popping up on you. If there's a person who knows where you work, something is like surrounded by the workplace or 
work, okay, with this Three of Pentacles card. Yeah. Hey, stranger. Somebody feel like popping up on you at your job, okay? Um, you do with the eight of wands behind the king of cups the king of cups knows exactly how they feel and now they're moving towards it and the fact that the king of cups is here this energy is strong and then we have this energy of this movement and water towards what it is that you want towards that change towards that transition this is a mental transformation okay i feel like somebody is definitely going to either call you while you're at work um, or call you while you're working, text you while you're working, but somebody wants to talk to you again. Um, wow. Hidden love. Hey, love. I'm here. Like, it's really more than a crush with somebody, okay? Clarify white picket fence. Is this the, somebody trying to just create this with you? Somebody's trying to create this with you. You got the two of wands with the with the queen of wands here, okay? Somebody wants to get one across your path. Somebody also want to bring some type of hot happiness. It's, it's also, there's a person who definitely want to connect with you for business endeavors. And it's because of your light. It's because your spark. It's because of your energy. Um, somebody really, really likes your energy. Also, you can find yourself networking with people and things could be going really, really good, like major deals. Also, big investments. But I do feel like the king and the queen paths cross, okay? Um, okay, so this person don't want you to know, or this could be your energy not wanting them to know that it's something has been hard or you've been struggling with something although you're making it look good and this could be love this could be finances something has been hard and you've been struggling with something but you make it look good okay i don't know why that is all right clarify i'm scared of commitment Okay, a person's, like, a lot of these things are coming out of the blue. Like, the possibilities are really endless. <laughs> the possibilities are really endless. There's a lot of things out of the blue energy here. Um, Something comes out of the blue, and I feel like just because you're not so open to it, or you're not, you're, like, a little reserved when it comes to it, or you want to kind of, like, you know, inspect it further, a person gets that, like, okay, maybe they're scared of committing. And... Just as a person went through their process of understanding what did they need and what was good for them, you have to go through your process as well. Okay. Um, you got the fool, you fool, you end up surrendering to this situation. Both people are open in this situation, or if this is just an opportunity, it's open for you. You end up opening up yourself, you end up seeing it for the light that it truly is, and coming out of the dark and having some fun with whatever is being presented with this desire being presented towards you because it is a desire presenting itself to you okay clarify can't even think straight right now <clears throat> somebody could feel like that you put your cards on the table so they probably feel like you shouldn't have did that. <laughs> to clarify, I can't even think straight right now. Somebody could also feel like... Let me see. I feel like also a person could be like proposing to someone. Okay. <laughs> someone could be proposing to someone and they could be like, you know, they can't think straight or whatever. But I do feel like this is because of some type of hardship or hard, um, some type of hardship or hard times. A person definitely was stolen from or, or a person definitely was cheated or this could be cheated on. Um, 
But I do feel like a person is definitely was cheated on or was cheated or felt like they was cheated. Also, a person who, this could be past energy of a person going through this because it looks like somebody is looking at someone with a lot of love and a lot of attention and just with a lot of curiosity, um, a lot of dedication, like being dedicated to someone now. So I feel like a person probably can't think straight with the change or with this new opportunity coming into their lives. Like they could be used to, like somebody could be used to fake friends or used to being cheated on or used to just being in a, a bad place or a negative place. Now they get all of this pos um, positivity and all this good energy. Now they can't really like, they can't really believe it. Clarify, lurking, stalking, and watching. <laughs> There's a lover that thinks that you're lurking, you're stalking, and you're watching them. You asking about them all the time. Um, <laughs> somebody also thinks that you're waiting for them too. Somebody also thinks that you could be pushing someone away or pushing people away. There could be a love relationship that's making you push someone away or push all people away because you'd rather stay in the illusion. Um, but then there's also a person who's watching. Someone's cross-watching the, the sign of the person that they're in love with or the sign of the friend or the sign of the family member. Somebody's watching somebody. Um, and this is lovers. This is lovers' energy. Love energy. So this is soulmate energy. Could be a Gemini here. What's right behind this? The Queen of Cups. There's a lot of big feelings. Also, there's a change of feelings. Somebody changed how they feel. Maybe they're feeling things stronger. Things are getting stronger. They're not... Like, things are not lowering down. Like, things are not getting watered down. If anything, things are getting more potent with someone, okay? Feelings are getting stronger. Somebody's becoming weak. <laughs> Clarify missing a lover from my past. Yeah, somebody feels like because you've changed your view or you change how you see things, now you're missing a lover. It starts with the change. And I'm feeling like, hmm. Or somebody feels like since they've changed their view, now they are missing you. Also, a person could also be stalking and watching you. Yeah, somebody could be stalking and watching you. I feel like because somebody's now they're changed, now they've changed inside of them, now they went through some type of healing which actually they just stop being stubborn and start resisting. And now they're open. Now a person is missing you like crazy. Okay. All right. Let's see what's coming towards you, Libra. Clarify free for me, please. Freedom. Freedom. Some of you guys are getting this free time to kind of like strengthen your bond with spirit. To strengthen your relationship with your higher self. To meditate. To also handle something. To also ground yourself, okay? Um, there's also some hidden opportunity. There's a hidden blessing that's coming towards you. Some hidden abundance. Something that you've been wanting for. Some type of dream. Some type of desire. Something you've been dreaming about that's coming towards you.
Okay. Clarify divine timing. All right. It's look like the load will something. Some of you guys, you can finish something in the nick of time. You're able to drop a load in a, in, in a nick of time, like divine timing. Like it works out in perfect timing. Um, I also feel like this is completion. This is a celebration. For some of you guys, you feel like something is hard right now with this Ten of Wands energy. But definitely it works out in divine timing. You are exactly where you need to be. Um... Also, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be overwhelmed and stressed and pressed for time. But time is an illusion. Things are just going to work out um, for you. Just keep steady. Keep keep yourself focused. The King of Pentacles. Keep yourself focused on the process. Stay dedicated to the path. This is also indication. Stay dedicated to the work. The Three of Pentacles. This is also um, symbolization that the work that you're doing could be hard, could be tough, could be stressful, could be overwhelming. But I feel like you're going to be finished in in, in um, the right time. Also, I do feel like sticking in there, like for some of you guys, you stick in there having consistency, okay? And discipline is going to definitely make you hold your desire in your hand quicker. But I do feel like you're able to drop some load or you're able to finish something like after the 10 is the ace and that's a new beginning so some of you guys are creating a new world like there's something you've been working on that's going to create a whole new world for you okay what you don't see is that there's nothing for you to worry about right now okay tell me more about they're getting close to you because of what you got let's clarify that please they're getting close to you because of what you got queen of swords energy this could be another libra okay um but i feel like when the queen of swords come up she just so like she see you so she knows the truth somebody knows that um look at this this devil energy here somebody knows this that somebody knows it okay um that the person is trying to get close to somebody for their own gain or for potential gain. Somebody's smart. No matter how they try to play it, like, I see you, okay? Um, but somebody is definitely trying to get close to somebody for their own gain, okay? Um, because of what you got, whether it is, let's see what's in the middle of the deck. Yeah, somebody's about to come finish a, a relationship or something like this. Or I feel like this is because somebody, like, you're getting all these accolades. You're completing things and you're whatever. Somebody feels like, okay, maybe if I I can see if I can get her to do da 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 da, -da um, Or him to do blah, 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 blah. But I do feel like this Queen of Swords energy is that you see them. Like, you see you see underneath the, the smiles or you see underneath whatever it is. A person just might as well be open and honest and be like, I just wanted to, you know, network or have an opportunity to do whatever with you instead of trying to, you know, skate their way in. Because that's not going to, that's not going to fly with you at all. <clears throat> Clarify not my peeps. Yeah, definitely not your peeps. Somebody is taking from you or somebody trying to gain from you. Somebody trying to give you the short end of the stick. Or somebody could just um, be straight up using you. There's also a repeat offender. The repeat offender is coming back, okay? <laughs> somebody is going to do something. Um, and you could be in the illusion. For some of you guys, you can be... This person could be so good at whatever they're doing that you can be in a daze. Because Seven of Swords... Seven of Cups here. You got the Eight of Cups here. So, it looks like you're realizing that somebody... This could be the realization that a person is not for you. Or people aren't for you. And you're realizing that it's time for you to move. And time for you to put your your own happiness as a priority. Okay? What's in the middle of the deck? Yeah, I can see you leaving. I can see your back is turned. Also, somebody could be doing something behind your back. Can we say, talk about somebody doing something behind your back? I'm feeling like the trumpet sound where a person thinks these are a lot of business. This is multiple people, and I'm feeling like they're talking, okay? 
Um, clarify the law. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. Mm. This is in the chaos. Something is telling you to to hold the space while you're in the chaos. Okay, some some type of chaos is going to happen. This could be some type of drama, an argument, something like that. Hold the space while you're in this sort of kind of chaos that's happening. I feel like this is going to bring fear. This can bring sadness, okay? But right behind that fear, that sadness, that dark spot is the chariot. So don't get too caught up in this energy here that comes with drama from other people. Okay, because right now, this is, we talked about once once you're about to get some, once the universe is about to give you loads of abundance or blessings, it always get chaotic. It always gets shaky. It always get a little dark first um, or really, really dark first. It always happens like that. Um, and it looks like there could be an argument or there can be a fight about the truth about the truth of the matter. Some people are fighting over the truth. And it may be your truth. Yeah, somebody's also standing down on their ground. Like, I feel like both parties are definitely um, holding their ground. Um, but I definitely feel like a person is fighting over the truth. Somebody is fighting over what, what to believe, what's the truth, and what's not. Um, I, I can give you a little, a little piece of advice. Don't ever find yourself in an argument fighting over what's true and not. You're going to look crazy. Trust me, I did it so, so many times. I did it so you don't have to, okay? You're going to look crazy. You're going to feel crazy, okay? Just um, learn how to say your truth and that's that. That is more solid than actually just screaming all around the, the place. But definitely hold the space. And last but not least, let's clarify alarm clock. Okay, it's time to go. It is time to go. For some of you guys, it's time to leave a situation, leave a person, leave a job, leave a neighborhood, leave an environment. It is time to leave. It's time for you to turn your back on something. It's literally time for you to abandon something. Like, leave like a thief in the night, okay? Like, real quick, real quiet, just get up and go, you know? So nobody can try to pull you back. It's time for you to leave a situation. Like, definitely time for you to leave, for you to get up and go. It's time for you to start something new. But you don't see, see that is there's a new life waiting for you. There's a new beginning waiting for you. A new experience. Look, back turn. It's time for you to hop on that ship. It's time for you to get going. It's time for you to leave and get to the next stage in your life. For some of you guys, you've been dealing with somebody's drama or a problem for way too long. And it's time for you to get out of it. It is time. The alarm clock has sounded, okay? Um, confirmation with the Ace of Wands. I feel like this could be the clarity of the matter, but it's time for you to go, okay? So that is the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.